Please stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We welcome you to the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist. We also welcome our listeners and viewers who are joining us today via Catholic Radio for Acadiana, 90.5 and 99.5 FM and 12.30 AM, or live stream. Today we celebrate Tuesday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant for today's Mass is Father Chester Arsenault. Please stand as we begin today's liturgy.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church. He himself, the Savior of the body, As the church is subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery but I speak in reference to Christ and the church. In any case, each one of you should love his wife as himself, and the wife should respect her husband. The word of the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be in favor. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Good afternoon. I welcome any visitors who might be visiting with us as this afternoon, as well as our listeners and views across Acadiana on Catholic Radio and those who are live streaming us. It is so good to be back to church. I have been quarantined for over 30 days. It started with my mom entering the hospital and, and finding out that she had COVID and uh, she stayed in the hospital for a day or two and we brought her home and taking care of her, the whole household ended up being sick. My sisters, my brother, and myself. I found myself in a difficult situation because I thought, you know, well, this is not really real, like some of you believe and think, until it hit me. And, and out of my, those 10 days where I stayed very sick, four of those days I could not breathe. I could not say a, a word without coughing and gasping for air. So I ask that you pray for those individuals who have been infected. Um, there's a lot of parishioners who have it. We know some of our money counters, you know, who are seniors, they're struggling, they're in the hospitals. This is real. And I want you to know it affected me in a great way where I prayed and I offered mass so differently. Um, I think today our readings help us a little bit to understand about the love of God and the love of neighbor. One of the beautiful images I had growing up as a kid was to see my parents pray together. Um, they knelt every night side by side and they prayed together. I remember growing up also seeing some passionate arguments and discussions. And I remember one night a serious argument happened and I told my brother, they're not going to pray tonight, I guarantee you that. Well, you know, it was a beautiful lesson to me. My dad went to bed at his usual time, and mom didn't go in that room an hour later. Two hours later, she was so upset and so angry. My dad was still on his knees. And when mom came in, she said, why aren't you sleeping? And he said, God gave me the duty to lead you and my children to heaven. And he says, though we have a disagreement, we must pray together and allow grace to prevail. See, my brothers and sisters, that call to holiness has been given to us through the greatest model, subordinate to the will of God. Christ himself humbled himself and took the nature, our human nature, that God could prove to us his love. And it happened through the sacrifice of his son, who teaches us to rise above our own passions, our own wills, and what we believe, and to love in a great way. Then he teaches us to love God and to understand his love for us and to love one another in the very same way. And in our first reading, he uses that beautiful image of husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. 
And what did he do for the church, the body of Christ? He gave himself that we who would journey through our human experience might be restored to life over and over and over again in the midst of our limitations. That beautiful image given to us, the beautiful example given to us, you know, during this time of, of, of being locked in lockdown, I got a phone call from a friend of mine asking me to do a burial of his brother that passed away from COVID. His brother was a staunch believer that this was fake and his brother died. And he felt so angry that he did not try to convince his brother to care for himself. You know, the body of Christ is given the ability to seek truth. And the body of Christ also invites us to obedience and surrendering. My will and the Lord's will. In this time of being on lockdown, offering private masses did something to my soul. It made me realize something that we take for granted, that I'm here, I'm here for the body of Christ, I'm here for you, but that the Mass, it's not about you or me at all. It's about the sacrifice. It's about why we are here, because the love of Christ, that He laid down that love for us, the Church, that we can always be in union through the Mass, through the sacraments, with Him, that we could find the strength to be subordinate, to be trusting, to surrender our will to the will of God and not allow our passions to lead who we truly are as brothers and sisters in Christ. How beautiful the image is given to us of Jesus, of a mustard seed that grows in the branches uh, as so filled with the birds of the air can nest within. That's the beauty of faith. That's the beauty of someone who trusts above his will or her way and surrendering knowing that God is our strength and we hope in him. It caused me in this time of lockdown to surrender all. I couldn't take care of my mom. One by one, my sisters who take care of my mom all fell ill and my brother total abandonment to what I wanted, total subordination to the will of God, asking him to heal my mom, my family, myself. Total submission to the mystery that was before me, thinking I might perish, trusting in what I truly possessed. I remember saying mass one of those days and I couldn't remember whether I said it validly and I had to start over again. That's how dark it was. Today, we are reminded of the light of Christ given to us through humility. As we die to self, we find new life. We are reminded in Jesus of how just a little bit of faith could work and do great things. So as we all come vulnerable to this world, it's politics, it's fear, and it's pandemic. Let us not stand in fear. Let us stand in what we possess. God's love in His Son, who became subordinate to the will of the Father, that we who would experience these emotions in our lives could forever draw forward life and strength in Him that everyone would belong and understand that they belong to the body of Christ. And in dying to self, we rise to new life. So it has been a difficult time, but it's been a wonderful time to see the hand of God work. As I let go, I had no choice. As I trusted and I surrendered, the Lord became ever present to me in my longing, in my desire for holiness and abandon of my will. How beautiful today that invitation is given to you and I 
to trust that God loves us and He's with us even though we carry our burdens, the cross that we bear, that when we die to self, we rise to new life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Trusting in God's love and mercy for us, we humbly place our prayers and our petitions for the whole Christian people. May they be aided by God to serve as leaven in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are sick, especially those struggling with COVID-19, may the Lord grant them his healing and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are being impacted by Hurricane Zeta, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom with all the angels and saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord O oh Lord, help us to be obedient. Help us to trust. Help us to surrender to your will as we place our hope and trust in you. Help us to realize the greatest gift that you give us, your Son, who died that we might rise to new life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. my sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and the praise of the Lord His name for our good and for all the souls. But we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of our mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. of all holiness, 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may bear it to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. May the mingling of the body of Him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Blood of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits which prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Most holy and immaculate Virgin, our Mother Mary, you are our perpetual help, our refuge, and our hope. We come to you today. We thank God for all the graces received through your intercession. Mother of perpetual help, we promise to love you always and to do all we can to lead others to you. Mother of perpetual help, confident of your in powerful influence with God, obtain for us these graces, the strength to overcome temptation, a perfect love for Jesus Christ, and a holy death, so that we will live with you and your Son for all eternity. Let us pray to be open to God's Word. Mother of perpetual help, you continually sought the meaning of God's words and actions in your life. As we listen to God's word, may the Holy Spirit enlighten our understanding and give us the courage to put his word into practice in our daily lives. Let us kneel to pray as a community of faith. Mary, all generations have called you blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for you. Mother of perpetual help, we call upon your most powerful name, your very name inspires confidence and hope. May it always be on our lips, especially in time of temptation and at the hour of our death. Blessed Lady, help us whenever we call on you. Let us not be content with merely pronouncing your name. May our daily lives proclaim that you are our mother and our perpetual help. Let us pray for our temporal wants. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest of confidence we kneel before you. We implore your help in the problems of our daily lives. Trials and sorrows often depress us. Misfortunes and privations bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross. Comforter of the afflicted, beg your son Jesus to strengthen us as we bear our burdens and to free us from our sufferings. Or if it be the will of God that we should suffer still longer, help us endure all with love and patience. May we follow the example of your Son, and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Let us stand now to present our petitions and our thanks. Lord Jesus Christ, at a word from Mary, your mother, you changed water into wine at Cana of Galilee. Listen now to the people of God gathered here to honor our mother of perpetual help. Grant our petitions and accept our sincere thanks. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, 
our Bishop Douglas, our priests, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. Grant us continued health of mind and body and help the sick to regain their health according to your holy will. Grant eternal rest to all our deceased and to the souls of all the faithful departed. Let us pause now to silently present our own petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Health. Lord, accept our thanks for the new life of grace you gave us. Accept our thanks for all the graces received through the sacramental life of the Church. Accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings we have received. Let us pause now to silently thank our Mother of Perpetual Help for our own favors received. Please kneel as we pray for the sick. Lord, look upon your servants laboring under bodily weakness. Cherish and revive the souls which you have created so that purified by their sufferings, they may soon find themselves healed by your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you that he may defend you, within you that he may sustain you, before you that he may lead you, behind you that he may protect you, above you that he may bless you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us renew our confidence in Mary as a perpetual help. Mother of perpetual help, you have been blessed and favored by God. You became not only the mother of the Redeemer, but the mother of the redeemed as well. We come to you today as your loving children. Watch over us and take care of us. As you held the child Jesus in your loving arms, so take us in your arms. Be a mother ready at every moment to help us. For God who is mighty has done great things for you and his mercy is from age to age on those who love him. Our greatest fear is that in time of temptation, we may fail out to call out to you and become lost children. Intercede for us, dear Mother, in obtaining pardon for our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us stand now and unite with Christians of all ages in praising Mary and in committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary, whose image we venerate as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant we beg you that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask through you who live and reign forever. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing who reigns now with christ our redeemer and king ave 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 maria ave ave Heaven, the blessed, your glory. 
glory proclaim on earth we your children invoke your fair name ave 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 maria ave ave maria in the name of the father the son the holy spirit 